hosts all over the city ready, ready to, to kill me if I say a word. Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where great guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Jimmy Simpson. Yeah. Jimmy. That's me. Let's see what's on TV, shall we? Please. Hey. Okay, see, there you go again. <laughs> Books, man. What is that? What? <laughs> Good one, man. Oh, don't forget about Friday. Oh, what's the matter? You, um, you, you didn't raise enough money at your last fundraiser? Funny you should mention it. We barely made enough to cover the beer, but I got it in check, brother. I scored some rope. Okay, so your first roll. Yes. You're a roofie peddling. That is a peddling. fresh faced, <laughs> funny looking fella. I like the highlights. There's so many lights. So There's many. There's two light, you guys. The two lights, let's call them that. Uh, there was a man that was actually uh, cast instead of me, but I, I'd been moving forward with the, with the producer, and I met Amy Heckerling, and I was such a fan of her work, and then I didn't get the job. And I went back to my understudy role at the roundabout mm. uh, for the Rainmaker. It was relatively early on to my career, so I was like, I can't believe I, I met Amy Heckerling, and she thought I was funny. Yeah. That means maybe she'll cast me at some point, you know. And I got a call a couple days later saying, "Can you make it to Toronto in three days? Because we we're actually going to hire you. We changed our minds." Really? Yeah. She kind of welcomed me to Hollywood because LA is a it's a weird place That's when you're from New town. Jersey. <laughs> that know? is a tough town. Yeah. Oh, you mothers. <laughs> so do you want a beverage of some kind? No, where's your brother, dude? We just stepped out of the shower. He'll be down in a minute. All right, l listen, you guys can't go. Did you just say we? What? I said he. <laughs> OK, so this is your first appearance uh, on Always Sunny. Did yep. you know it would be this, a recurring role? Did you have any idea? This started the ball this started rolling. I don't know how it kept recurring. Look at that chest. It's so thin and wrong, but so right <laughs> for McPoyle. <laughs> What about that unibrow? Is that real or is that a weave? What's that? <laughs> it's it's actually a weave. <laughs> it's actually a weave. I knew um, it. I they, knew it. And 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 Sophia actually asked me if uh, like why did the unibrow go down? I don't know if they cut the unibrow budget, but I used to have each hair placed like brundle fly, like these thick. Coarse <laughs> mother bangers across. <laughs> mother bangers. Yeah. Yes. And and now they're just like, you know, they just kind of they do it lighter. All right, but the chest hair that was all yours. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, yep, still is, still is. <laughs> okay. All right, up next. Punisher. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 who's that guy? Yeah. That's Lyle. No, no, That's no, Lyle. No. That's Lyle the intern. That's oh, Lyle the intern. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that you appreciate what it is that I'm doing for you. I'm gonna break down your walls and get to your gooey cream center. So what was it like for you to break down Letterman's walls and get to his creamy, gooey center? It felt like something I was destined to do uh, when I was born and was just waiting for the chance. <laughs> and luckily I was, doing a, I was doing a play on Broadway and I was on this poster and the Stangle brothers who, who wrote for David Letterman, um, they were walking by and they're like, that's the, the creep from Sonny. Let's have him do that Letterman, the Lyle bit that we've been t talking about. Oh. And so I rolled in around 4.30 and they were like, okay. And then they threw me on the stage and they'd like, go, go, all right, top 10 and go. And just pushed me out. And I was just like, <sighs> and then Letterman just started talking to me. And you know, the next week the saying was called, like, Letterman's like, where's Lyle? Let's get some more Lyle in here. And it became, you know, I did a dozen, 13 times or so. What was he like to work with? I don't know if he is aware that I'm not Lyle the intern. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Andy, hey. Randall, what is up? Uh, what are you doing out here, man? She's taking a break, man, smoking. Sterling Brown yeah. is one of the more wickedly talented humans on the earth. So Sterling K. Brown, you're on the set of This Is Us, one of the biggest shows on television, one of the most emotional shows on television. I mean, do you walk on set and immediately start crying? How? Do, what happens when you walk onto the This Is Us set? If I had more free time during that part of my life, I would have because I, but I had not watched the show oh. enough yet. Um, Sterling and I uh, were uh, worked together at Williamstown Theater Festival 20 years ago. We were non-equity actors, but he was the first man that I'd ever gotten to know personally that then when he stepped up on the stage, he was just 
gone. Mm. And again, I got into this thing late, and so I was just figuring out this craft. What can I offer? And then to see someone who was so realized and so committed already and clear with his instrument, I was just blown away. <laughs>
so committed to this case that I had to like break out some calendars and some whiteboards and start articulating everything that happened with this case so I could be as, so I could, I, I could know not as much as Russell Poole, I never could, but I know more than most people. And I needed to be so familiar with this case so that I could act the scenes without guessing about what I was talking about. Mm. It opens it all up mm -hmm. into the humans that the story is about. Instead of East Coast, West Coast, gangster, rapper versus rapper, they were people. Okay. And they were boys. And we lost them too soon. Jamie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to stick around, we can watch more. Okay. <laughs> I'll roll with you. <laughs> oh, I'm canceling all my other things. <laughs> okay. All right. Cancel his book. Yes. Unsolved the Murders of Tupac. The Notorious B.I.G. airs Tuesdays at 10 on USA. See you next week on Couch Surfing. Oh, you can turn it off. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.